Hey everybody, this is Joby. Today I'm going to, as promised, make a video about how to level up provisioning. Probably do enchanting on another time. Um, it's a little bit more complicated. And what I want to do right now is just show you this is Booger. As usual, Mr. Booger Man. And my provisioning is level 3. And I have no points in there. These are just the points that came with it. And uh, I have 48 skill points, so I'm good to go. We want to get recipe improvement I, I don't even really care I mean it doesn't matter that much but you do want to get uh, maybe maybe just go ahead and do it but you definitely want chef and you definitely want brewer because they create one extra serving for each food recipe and when you do all three it makes four extras and then you keep those on you and a lot of times you walk up to the provisioning station and you don't even have to make it as long as you have them on you it saves a lot of time this and alchemy uh, will you know you can just skip those you don't skip them but you just go and check if you can see that it says deliver items then you don't need to even go to that station all right let's do this so what I'm gonna look for is okay so for like uh, any of these you know these are just recipes that I happen to have on me from just running around and picking stuff up I might have gone to the guild bank and got a bunch out I cannot remember. I have too many characters. So I probably did. I probably went to the guild bank and got a bunch of recipes. If you don't have recipes, here's what you can do. You can go up to you, my man, Roger. What's up? You can go to the brewer. So you can buy this recipe for, um, I already know that. I already know all these. I don't know Banana Surprise. I'm not going to buy it, but it is uh, 270 It's great to buy your recipes on characters when they're, they're uh, small. Because they're only 270, they'll get up to like 1,800. You know, when you're uh, fully leveled out, inflation, the cost of doing business. But you can buy the food recipes from the guy here. This is uh, in Blackwood, but you just need to find a chef. And you can buy the other recipes if you go out and you go over to this place. This will just be the brewer, and that's who you buy the drink recipes from. Get those, come over here, get, you know, as many as you can. Just get a something that you have a lot of. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the one that is the highest and that I have a lot of that I can make. I have lots and lots of provisioning supplies, as you can see. Now, see, I can't make that because it's too high of a level. Uh, I want to find something that has uh, like a level 15 and 1.3 thousand. It takes fish and flour, not using that. Because flour is very expensive. So uh, I could do a rabbit millet pilaf, which is just millet and small game. Very common items. Don't use your flour. Too expensive. It'd be crazy. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hold C. We're going to go and do as many of these as we can. And everything is going to be beautiful. So that's 50. I can't even do any extra ones. And it's going to be like, they'll stack. So... I don't know how many it's going to let me do, but we'll see. And then I'm going to sell them, make a little bit of gold. Ooh, it's going to let me do a lot. That's almost half. All right, let's try it. Come on, all the way to 50. I don't think so. Maybe. You just never know. I did do a lot. I did like 500 or something, so. I think it's going to make it. 39, 40. Here we go. 43. Ha, 46. Almost. So I'm going to go to uh, another 15 because I used up half my meat there. And uh, it makes me sad. Very sad. So there's some melon and some saltress. That's pretty good. So for four levels, I would say 150. Let's do it. 150 of these recipes and I will be in business. I'll be level 50 on provisioning. I think. Could be wrong. You could just do a bunch and don't care about, you know, conservation. But uh, I don't want to make more than I have to. Uh, and there it is. Level 50 in just a couple of minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and put the points in. We do skills, provisioning. And I'll just go ahead and put all these in. Recipe improvement. So I can get better rewards out of the chest. I could do recipe quality. I might as well. Why not? Who cares? and we definitely this is adds duration but I don't care about that we definitely want to do chef and then we definitely want to do brewer all right so 
go over here and sell these at this merchant right here and look how many there are oh my goodness it's crazy but it won't even be that much money it'll only be 1300 gold what a rip off now what I want to show you is if we go here and I'll just make a uh, I'll do something like uh, I can do all these of course make a pork sausage just do it one time okay and then I'm gonna go down and make a drink which will be Mark Hearth Mead one of my favorites okay and then this is what I want to show you I know I said it but why would you believe me I mean come on it's ridiculous okay so you see I have four Camlorn pork sausages and four Markarth meads and I can't even use it I'm not high enough level but that doesn't matter okay so I'll just sell those two eventually the thing is about getting provisioning supplies any dungeon every time you see a crate loot it anytime you go anywhere you can steal stuff too if you come over here you know and you uh, see all his stuff right there if you don't mind going to the outlaw refuge and you can uh, launder the stuff it's real cheap way cheaper than buying things you know in the in the guild traders all these baskets will have lots of stuff in here over here just any basket like that but when you're in dungeons or Cyrodiil or any place you just loot all those baskets and then uh, you know you get uh, free provisioning Now there's another place you can go it's in Reaper's March there's a little secret so don't tell anybody don't tell anybody about this there's a secret okay so there's a problem because my character's never been here, but this is it. This is the Vile Mance. It is in Reaper's March, and it's right here, this whole place. And what you do is you go inside that place. It's uh, considered a delve. I don't know why. Uh, I think it's a public dungeon, actually. But you go inside there, and then you look around for a boot that has a key in it. Once you get that key, you can go unlock the cellar. You can loot all the stuff in the kitchen and all around. There's lots of stuff. But you go down inside that delvish public dungeon or whatever. Kill all those people, but there's so many crates in there. I mean, you can, like, run around in there. And then all you have to do is port to any house you don't own. So what you would do, you're inside the Valmont Mance. You're running around. And then you just go ahead and port to the Sleet Creek house from inside the dungeon to preview it. And then you will just walk out the door and you'll port right back to the Valmance and everything will be refilled again. So run around, do your little route downstairs, come out and be up on the top of the cellar door. And then look on the map and just go ahead and go to Sleet Creek House or you can go to this other one if you want to, Serenity Falls Estate, or you can go to Dawn Shadow, it doesn't matter. You just... Travel there to preview it and then just walk out the front door and you'll be right back where you were over here and then everything will be reset and you can just do that forever and get lots of stuff. I showed you guys that when I was talking about the flower um, farm. Some kind person in the uh, YouTube chat had told me you can just go to a house and when you port back you'll just be right in the same place you were and everything will be refilled. So it's a great way to farm materials. I know a lot of people don't really care about any of this kind of stuff, but it is a great way to make money. It's a great way to just be self-sufficient and have a, have a great time in the game without spending any money. It's free stuff. Just got to pick it up. All right. Well, that's about it. I hope you guys found this useful. So please give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Do you like provisioning? Do you like to cook food? Are you a foodie? Uh... Do you have any ideas where to go to get provisioning supplies? If you'd share it with us in the comments section, we'd all love you very much. And when we saw you the next time, we would all kiss you on the mouth as a group. Wouldn't be very sanitary, but it would be fun. Join me on Discord, the most chill Discord server on the planet. There's a link in the description. And if you're not doing anything at 15 p.m. Eastern Time, follow me on Twitch. Upper Echelon Mediocrity is the name of the channel. Have a lot of fun in there. Recently, I've just been doing... A lot of goof off stuff like running around doing writs, just talking to people in the chat and stuff. And, um, you know, how I was coming, so it's kind of like real tense situation. You know, people don't really want to get involved in stuff. I think they're all uh, ready for some new material, some new content. If you're on Xbox North American server, you can join my guild. My guild's name is Upper Echelon Mediocrity, just like the YouTube channel. 
coincidence? I think not. Right now we have 487 total members, 15 members online, a lot of helpful, friendly people and people that will uh, help you out if you need to do something or craft some gear or something like that. You can just ask in chat. And we are not in the guild finder, so you need to send me a message on Xbox. My name is Coyote, C-H-A-O-T-E-Y, and I'll get you in as soon as time permits and whatnot. All right, so until that time, let's get paid. Thank you.